Hey, what's up, guys? So, the day is here. I uh, was able to go over to Lee's shop, Monster Performance, and uh, he hooked me up with the clip I need for my hard body. So now that I have the clip, I can work on my D21. So I need to move the Cressida, move this S13 subframe, clean up some mess a little bit, and then Brandy and I are gonna push the D21 out front here and either come up to the sidewalk or push it over towards the driveway. So we'll figure it out here in a minute. Uh, we're gonna pipe it, you know what I'm saying? Play it by ear. So, uh, so yeah, we'll figure it out. But I'll catch up with you in a minute when uh, I figure out what exactly we're doing or after we've done it. All right, well, got the KA sitting out here, got the D21 sitting over on the sidewalk. So I'm gonna get the front timing cover on, set timing, get the oil pan on, and into the truck she goes. So if you guys are familiar with KAs, you know that the uh, cam gear or whatever gear that is used to translate the distributor signal inside the engine um, has like curved teeth on it. So when you go to set the distributor in, well, this is actually the oil pump, but the shaft runs up through it this way. Uh, when you go to set it there's usually a dot on the front of the rotor and a dot on the stationary part and they're supposed to be lined up when the engine's in time but you have to set it like a tooth out so as it turns in it lines up so uh fortunately i got really lucky here and i got it on the first try and then i went and looked up the service manual and everything was like right where it's supposed to be and it's kind of cool because like there's a little tiny dowel in here it's like a half moon and you know it can be sitting like you know 50 50 or you know this way and uh, it's supposed to be sitting at about 11:45, as if it's like a clock and i look right in there and it's at 11:45, right where it's supposed to be so i take the uh, distributor put that on and of course look at that the rotor is right before one right where it's supposed to be so when you crank it up the first time the rotor will pass right by one and fire everything in order so it's a good sign i'm gonna finish putting all the other accessories on and then get this thing in the d21 before the sun sets she's all in time now it's time to get the oil pan throw some rtv on it put it on here tie up everything else and into the truck it goes pretty sure that's the second time i've said that just like that all right so i got the oil pan on it's finger tight i'm gonna give that like 15 minutes before i tighten it all down I'm going to take the engine off the engine stand now, put it on the hoist, put on the flywheel and the brand new clutch and pressure plate. So let me get to that. All right, so I got the engine, of course, off the engine stand. It's on the ground, got on the dust shield, got the fly flywheel on, about to go grab the keys for the G because my digital torque wrench is in the trunk. So I'm gonna grab the digital torque wrench. Already got the crank pulley locked down. I'm gonna tighten these all the spec, get the brand new clutch and pressure pl plate on there, and then into the truck it goes. All right, everything is torqued down. Now for the best part. All right, let's put this in the truck. All right, shout out to Lee over at Monster. Uh, I had to take my clip and put it on that so I could put the drivetrain in. 
and this is what was stopping me from putting this back together so now that i got it i can put it back in the truck shout out to my mom's for giving me a hand over here she's helped me drop the engine in so uh let's get to it all right so my gopro is in the drift car and i don't feel like going to get it so i'm just gonna do some youtube magic all right and she's in started up got it to move a little bit she's got uh exhaust leaks intake leaks got a couple of holes to cl uh, close up but it runs so good stuff all right so the engine is in got everything pretty much wired up uh, i just need to run a new line from this outlet to the heater core since i deleted that whole bracket then put coolant in it make sure everything's buttoned up and all good so i'll start her up for you guys you can see how she runs and then we'll move on all right so she's doing great let's see how she does let's make sure it's in neutral all right so obviously it's still clacking a tiny bit but that's just because i haven't let it run long enough to build up the oil pressure to push the tensioner out um i've ridden a lot of different places that um, it's very recommended that you use a OEM Nissan oil filter because there's some sort of baffle in there that keeps positive pressure pushed into the line or something like that. I do not know. I've just read it in a million places. And what I do know myself is that I do not have an OEM Nissan oil filter on the truck. So when I get one of those, um, I'm sure I won't have the startup rattle that a lot of people experience. Um, and if I continue to, then I'll just get a side, uh, the self tensioning tensioner they exist they're like 114 bucks or something like that so i'll end up grabbing one of those if it doesn't go away but i'm thinking that once i get cooling in here and uh, i run it up and down the block and uh, just let it idle for a while that it'll build up enough oil pressure to push the tensioner out and get rid of that last little bit of the uh timing chain rattle that's going on in there but it's a brand new timing kit all that stuff is brand new hardware brand new timing chain cover so uh so yeah it should go away once it builds up oil pressure but I'm very glad to have a truck now. So shout out to my ma, shout out to Brandy, shout out to Robert, shout out to everybody who's come through and given me a hand on this thing at one point or another. Now it runs, now all I gotta do is get it on the road, and then the G35, the poor girl, she's sitting right there, doesn't have to be my work truck anymore. So uh, that was the goal, and that's why I'm gonna try to keep this truck as simple as possible so I can use it whenever I need it.